Mac OS X Lion is the latest version of Apple's operating system for its laptops and desktop computers. It's released today and it brings through some of the more significant developments that Apple has pushed onto its mobile operating system, iOS. One of the most significant things that's changed in this version of the operating system is a feature called Launchpad. Now this is something that will look familiar straight away to anyone who's used an iPad. It displays all of the apps on your laptop in uh, an iPad style format. Each one is laid out on the screen. Lion takes uh, gestures such as the two finger swipe to move between screens within an app and also three fingers to move between apps themselves. So if I move three fingers up on the screen then it opens what Apple calls a mission control view which is all of the screens that I've got open on this Mac at once. The reason this has been done is partly because people are getting used to touchscreen mobile devices such as iPads but also because around three quarters of the Macs that Apple now sells are laptops so they come with trackpads like this one rather than with a mouse. So with three fingers we can swipe onto the next app and you can see one of the new features that Apple has put into Lion which is full screen apps. Something like iPhoto for example looks fantastic on full screen. You can view your photos. If we swipe through again with three fingers to another full screen app you can see that Safari the web browser now runs in full screen and using a two finger gesture we can scroll backwards and forwards across pages. So instead of moving um, forward and back between web pages by pressing a button or clicking on the mouse you're now dragging the pages across with your fingers. Another app that Apple has changed is Mail. Now this is something again we're running in full screen here this is something that breaks down uh, messages into a conversation view. This is something that you'll be familiar with if you've used Gmail for any period but um, what Apple has done is broken out the different parts of the conversation and displayed them as separate chunks of messages within the email view. And finally something else that's going to be key for computer users is the death of the save function. Everything in Lion auto saves all the time. So instead of um, constantly having to press Control S or Command S to save your work. This is going on behind the screens all the time. Different versions of the document that you're working on are constantly being built up. If you want to go back to one that you used two or three days ago it will be there for you. If your app crashes, uh, which sometimes happens, then you won't have to worry about when you last saved your work because it will be auto-saved. And Apple's taken that a step further by ensuring that if you shut the machine down when you start it again, it will restart in exactly the configuration that you left it in. So hopefully this means the death of the save.